Hey you guys, um, this video I decided to make uh, because I just recently upgraded to Internet Explorer 9 uh, beta and I'm a big fan of all browsers um, but I like that one the most and I just want to give you a quick overview um, you see here I have Chrome installed and look how fast it turned on the second I power it up now Chrome is a really 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 awesome uh, uh, browser it's really light on your system uh, it's actually very fast you could see by the uh, built-in task manager for Google Chrome I mean it was engineered with uh, sheer geniusness um, I also have here Mozilla Firefox I just clicked the icon and it took uh, slightly longer to open um, you could take a look at both these windows actually and you could see the difference between immediately the difference between um, Chrome and Firefox you'll see here that there's a, a whole bunch of crap um, usually that comes with Firefox a lot of people started developing uh, old types of toolbars and stuff like that for uh, Mozilla even though you have control over it um, some programs that you install may have add-ons to them but that's not really what I'm getting at um, this is your Chrome and this is your Firefox so in Firefox I'm gonna go to let's say CNN and look how long it's taken to parse that search result now I'm gonna type in CNN on Chrome and notice how fast it loaded as a matter of fact I'm still lagging behind and not anymore but I was lagging behind um, on Firefox I'm um, just gonna try to load up CNN.com I clicked the link and notice it took a couple of seconds let's take a look with Chrome what's going down now the on the ca the weird counterpart uh, uh, to this is that actually Firefox preloaded the site quicker than Chrome did um, so I was just testing these two browsers and trying to get the hang of them and bam I decided today to finally upgrade Internet Explorer now let's look at the load time on Internet Explorer one click and I'm in uh, rather fast uh, let me go to CNN on Internet Explorer 9 and let's see how long this takes now you notice the white screen I'm guessing is trying to uh, to pull it. See, I cleared my cache so it's re-downloading the whole site and it was slightly faster uh, believe it or not Firefox did it the fastest uh, loading CNN CNN is a very heavy website there's a lot of Ajax going on here and a lot of uh, uh, dynamic HTML and um, all kinds of effects and visuals but you'll notice here what I really like the difference between Internet Explorer um, 8 and these other browsers let me, let me minimize these browsers real quick and let's go back to um, Internet Explorer you'll see now one of the major changes is they kind of expanded on the toolbar and they got all your buttons right here on the top right uh, your home button your favorites button and of course the tools and the settings and they actually compacted so you have a bigger um, like um, view uh, a, a bigger window to actually view the page itself rather than look at all these other things um, so that's one thing I noticed second thing I noticed is uh, with the tabs how they open much quicker and as they open now uh, they actually I think I believe they stole this from Firefox uh, you see that they have these uh, your most popular sites uh, sites which you visited the most uh, you'll see here you can actually hide these and show these the very cool stuff um, now looking a little deeper at the settings and what we have here um, the full screen always the same I believe they upgraded the uh, safety on this browser as well um, I had a lot of security options in the very beginning uh, when I first installed this I had to migrate and, and, and propagate the internet options window is exactly the same uh, there is absolutely no difference now they're saying that this browser supports uh, HTML3 which is really exciting too because a lot of people haven't started developing for it yet um, but I really think that this is a cool browser um, I think it's a really 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 nice browser and see supports HTML5 I'm sorry I said 3 I meant to say 5 uh, you'll see here that there's like all these cool little things um, that the they had figured out like with effects and stuff like that so this is actually a really fast browser uh, it, it's really nice um, I believe that this is the best browser so far that Microsoft had created uh, I was used to using Internet Explorer 8 for quite some time now I actually have a lot more to learn about this browser as I just started to, to work with it I haven't developed anything and viewed what it looks like on there um, 
but again this is a, a worth upgrading to uh, this is a very very nice uh, um, browser and speed wise uh, comparing it to um, Chrome and to uh, Mozilla Firefox I'm gonna try one more website actually um, let's go back to Google and then let's go to G4 TV and let's see how long it will take you to load G4's website again there's a little white screen a little hesitation on the loading uh, but it does load pretty fast now let's do this again with Firefox G4 TV and let's take a look here this takes slightly a little longer as you see I believe Chrome is better than Firefox but I'm starting to actually fall in love with this browser here. Internet Explorer 9 um, so I click the link and we let it load. Now I'm experiencing some lag myself on my machine. A because I'm recording the screen, and B I got three browsers open. Um, I think that they also improved the graphics, uh, the way things look on Internet Explorer 9. Everything is just so pretty and vivid colors, and uh, it gets to use the latest technology and features. Now this is still a beta. They're going to implement more stuff into this browser. But for all of you that wondered whether it's good or if it's safe to install it absolutely um, I recommend you guys give it a shot uh, even though it's a beta I haven't found any bugs right before I made this video I was playing around with it uh, I was trying all types of sites that I know exploit your browser and this browser hasn't crashed on me once um, it's actually very good uh, I put it up uh, over Chrome now uh, but Chrome definitely over Firefox and I got nothing wrong against Firefox I used Firefox for three years until they actually released version 3 that's when things went downhill um, but yeah, this is definitely uh, the browser to go. So I hope you guys, you know, like uh, uh, this browser, and I hope you try it and uh, update to it. And you know, in the future, this is going to be uh, shipped with all um, Windows that's going to be released. They, this is going to be the primary browser. They're going to move to retire old the older generation browser to support more room for developers and you know people who are, are going to use new technology, uh, especially Silverlight. Um, to build websites and, and move videos and stuff to you. Um, so that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys liked the video and thank you for watching. Bye.